Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit combined variables and data elements from the module data and actions and flow. So as part of this unit's challenge, we are going to create a record triggered flow on lead object. So whenever a lead record is created, this tr record triggered flow will be implemented. Now, before we move ahead with our implementation of this record triggered flow, we have to make sure that we create a custom lookup field or lead object which will have which will be related to our account object by the label possible matching account now what basically we are implementing in this record triggered flow is we are we are going to see if there's already an account whose name matches the leads company field so let's say if we have account name by the name abc and we have a record of lead and in that particular lead, we have a company field whose value is ABC. So now we found a match. And in that case, that particular account will get associated to that lead record from the field possible matching account. So that this field will hold that account whose, field, uh, whose name got matched with the leads company field value. So this is basically we are going to do here. And if there is one match in that case, it's simple. Uh, simply just store that particular account name. But if we found multiple matching records of account, then in that case, we have to use the most recent account. So we are going to sort our accounts as well. And let's see how we are going to implement that in our flow. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground. I've already done go to setup as we are going to create field on lead object. It's going to be lookup relationship. Will be related to account. Name, I'm going to select it from the challenge. I'll copy this here. Remove this API name. And this will this has to be possible matching account. Rest, we do not have to change anything. Let's click on next. 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 Now here it is mentioned in the challenge that we do not want any related list of lead to be up, to be visible on account page layouts. So I'm going to deselect all of these checkboxes. boxes. Let's just click on save. So very first step to create a custom lookup field on lead object is done. Now this field will store the matching account name whenever it has found one. So moving ahead, we have to create a record triggered flow. Uh, so one way you, you have, uh, you can go through the home setup and then search for flow and then click on new flow button. Another way to create record triggered flow is you can just click on this flow triggers as we are uh, specific from which object I want to create this flow. So I'll simply just go to this uh, flow trigger option over here, just click on new flow. And this will automatically create a record triggered flow for us where object will be auto populated lead. And I want this flow to execute only when a record is created. So if all these settings will be pre -def uh, by default. Here you have to select past field updates, just click on done. Now the next step is I want to get all the account records where the account name is same as that of triggering lead record company's name. So let's see how we can do that. We have to use the get element record, uh, sorry, get record element, and we are going to label it as look for matching account. So let's go back to our flow builder, get records. Now I want the records of account. And I'm going to filter out my account records. I want only those accounts where name, account name is same as that of lead company. So I'll select this field. And I'm going to sort it by descending order of created date. Why we are doing this, if suppose we have multiple matching records of account uh, by the same name as that of leads company name, then in that case, I want only the recent account created. So what, whichever account is recently created or the latest account, that account only should get related particular lead whose company field value has matched this account name. So that's why we are going, we are doing this sort account records. 
rest of the setting will remain as it is just click on them once we have got the matching account records then after that we are going to update our lead record for the field which we just created few minutes back so i'm going to label this update record element update matching account api name will be auto populated now here a uh, new filter is there to be applied the last thing that we have to do is we have to update our possible matching account this is the same field which we created now this field will hold the id or the account id whose name has matched with the triggering lead record company so let's just go back there and the field i want to update is possible matching account and the value will come look for matching account dot id so look for matching account is the one uh, it is the get record element where we are fetching all the accounts with the possible match and once i got the match it there will be only one record coming up because we are we have sorted it based on the created date anyhow it is going to return only one record and i am storing that account id once i got the matching account i'm storing that particular account id to this possible matching account field on lead record so this way my matching account record gets associated to my lead record whose company field value is same as that of the account name let's just click on done last thing we have to do is uh, save our flow by the label check new lead for matching account let's go back there click on save and we are good with our flow now in order to test this let's first of all create it an account record so for that you have to go to your app launcher go to account now i'm going to create a new account over here where i'm going to name it as let's say abc corps okay and uh, rest of the settings i'm not changing anything just click on save so next we are going to create the lead record where the company field will have the same value as abc corps so i'll just copy this over here let's go to leads create a new one now here i'll say testing lead give any name you can give any but make sure for the company you have to name it as the same by which we just created our account now as of now this field is blank so as soon as i click on the save button this field will have the same uh, will have the account associated to it which we just created few minutes back so let's click on save and let's see if our flow is working this is not going to work because we haven't activated our flow so let's just activate this as well let's go back here i'll delete this lead record let's create another testing lead company will be abc corp so this is the exact same name as that of account click on save now this time possible matching account should get populated so there you go this account has been populated over here this is the same account which we just created few minutes back and this is how it is working so let's also test with multiple account records as well so suppose i have another account record by the same name abc abc corps and for the differentiation what i'm going to do is i'm going to let's say give out rating as hot for the previous account by the same name i haven't given any other field value for this one just to differentiate uh, that we get the recently created account record related to our lead so that's why i'm giving it as hot over here just click on save now let's create another lead now what we are doing is we have two accounts by the same name all right 
And now I'm going to create another lead, testing lead two. And here I'm going to give out the same account name, ABC Corps. Now this time it should get, uh, this field should get the account where we have given the rating as hot because that's the most recent account we have created. Let's click on save and see which account it takes up. So here we got our value. This is lead testing two. Let's click on this and see whether we have rating populated over here. There you go. So this picked up the latest account record that we created, not the previous account record, which has no rating. All right. So this is how our flow is working. And this is how you can use update and get record elements in the flow and filter out based on your requirement. So that's all what we have to do for this challenge. Hope I was able to convey some concepts and you were able to understand those. So let's just see whether we have completed this. There you go, this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.